coming in front of us. All right, third time's a charm. The last two were fail. I totally went over the 10 minutes. It was like 20 minutes each. So here we go, third time. Hi, I'm Amber, and I love promoting wellness through breathing. Let me do that again. Hi, I'm Amber, and I love promoting wellness through movement and breathing. I'll be guiding you through the next 10 minutes of this invigorating vinyasa flow to re-energize you. I'll offer options encouraging you to listen to your body. I won't cue breaks, but you're very welcome to take any. With that, we'll get started at, a back, at the back of our mat. Knees open wide towards the edges, toes to touch, then your sit bones towards your heels. Walk your hands out in front of you. Melt your heart, melt your forehead to your mat and breathe at your own pace, child pose. You can soften your gaze or close your eyes. Let the outside world go. This time is for you. Turn your attention inward. Inhale, fill up your belly, ribs, just open your mouth, exhale, let it go as if you're fogging up a mirror. Inhale, fill up, belly, ribs, chest. Open your mouth, exhale, let it go. Last one like this. Inhale, fill up. Open your mouth, let it go as if you're fogging up a mirror. Once you let all the air out, press your lips together. Inhale through your nose, fill up, belly, ribs, chest. Exhale through your nose, constrict the back of your throat. Let it go. Take another inhale, fill up, belly, ribs, chest. Exhale through your nose, constricting the back of your throat, making an ocean-like sound. One more like this, inhale, fill up, all the way to the top of your collarbones. Exhale through your nose, make that ocean-like sound, that hissing sound at the back of your throat. As you let all the air out, come back to your natural rhythm. That was your Ujjayi breath, also known as your victorious breath. Use it throughout practice to cultivate heat. If your eyes were closed, you can flutter them open. Inhale, lift your hips, shift forward. Exhale, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees for your tabletop. Inhale, dip the belly, shine your heart through, look up for your cat, cow pose. Exhale, round your back, press your hands into the earth, tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone for your cat pose. Inhale, dip the belly, create a smile with your back. Exhale, reverse your smile, create a rainbow, press the earth away. Last one, inhale, dip the belly, shine your heart through, smile. Exhale, rainbow. Tuck chin, tuck tailbone. Inhale into a neutral spine. Exhale, tuck your toes, send your hips up and back. Create a triangle shape with your body and the earth. Make any necessary adjustments. Maybe your hands want to step out about an inch or two, or your feet. Down dog. Keep pressing the earth away, biceps by your ears, gaze between your knees, micro bend in the knees. You can pedal out one leg and the other, walking your dog. Maybe you wag your tail and sway side to side. 
discover your down dog and notice if there's any spots or pauses your body is asking you to pay a little bit more attention to. Breathe. One more inhale. Exhale, settle in stillness. Inhale, reach your right heel up towards the sky. Square your hips, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your right leg between your hands. If it doesn't get there, guide it there. Come onto your fingertips. Inhale, reach both hands overhead for your high lunge, also known as your crescent lunge. Back heel is lifted. Bend the back knee so that the front thigh is parallel to the earth. Now restrain into the back leg. Keep reaching towards the sky with your fingertips. Relax your shoulders. If your ribs have flared out, hug them inward. One more breath, grow tall, expand the spaces between your vertebrae. Exhale, spin the left toes out, lower the back heel so it's parallel to the shortage of your mat. Open your arms out to a T. Gaze at the right middle finger. Warrior two. Your hips open wide towards the long edge of your mat. Front toes point towards your front edge. Back toes point towards the long edge of your mat. Imagine you're squeezing a pencil between your shoulder blades. Fingertips energetically pulling away from each other. Inhale, crown of the head towards the ceiling. Keep this length. Exhale, reach your right hand forward. Right forearm to rest on the right thigh. Left hand, inhale, reach it up towards the sky or overhead for your extended side angle. For an oblique challenge, hover both arms. For a vine, left hand can wrap around the lower back. To meet, fingers can meet and find opposite thigh. Option to lower the hand closer to the earth or to a block, low, medium, or high setting. You find what feels good for you. For a full bind, right hand can wrap under the right thigh, hands to meet and clasp. Stack your shoulders, broaden through the chest. To challenge your balance, can you look up? One more inhale, hug everything into the midline, no matter where you're at. Exhale, if you were bound, unbind. Release and lift your torso. Inhale, flip the front palm and send it up and back for your reversed warrior. Hold here. Inhale to keep reaching your fingertips up and back, expanding the right side body. Exhale to recommit into the bend of the front knee. Option for left hand to stay bound or slide down the back leg. Gaze up by your right hand. One more inhale, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, cartwheel to frame your front foot. Step, pop the back heel up and step your foot into plank pose. Hold here, spread your fingers wide, press the earth away, puff up the space between your shoulders. Option to lower your knees for support. Heels point up towards the sky, belly button into your spine. Inhale to shift your body forward so that your shoulders are beyond your wrists. Exhale, pin your elbows to your side body and lower down, super slow, resisting gravity until your heart meets the earth. Untuck your toes if they were tucked and press the tops of the feet into the mat. Inhale, lift your heart, almost no weight in your hands. Exhale to squeeze your shoulder blades back and down. Hold here. Inhale to lift a little higher. Exhale, lower down. Shift your palms back towards your ribs. Inhale, lift your heart, strain the arms for your cobra. You could stay here or press into your hands in the tops of your feet. Hover your knees for your up dog. If you're an up dog, pull your hips forward between your hands. One more inhale. 
your knees were lifted, lower them down, exhale, send your hips towards your tabletop, tuck your toes, send them up and back for your down dog. One inhale here to reset, exhale, let it go. Other side, inhale, lift your left heel up towards the sky. Exhale, step it through to your low lunge, same option to guide it there. Come onto your fingertips, inhale, reach both hands overhead, high lunge. Hold here, exhale, bend the back knee to your front thigh is parallel. Keep that pelvis exactly at that level. Now restrain into the back leg, back heel stays lifted. Hands keep reaching up towards the sky, biceps by your ears. Shoulders over your hips. One more inhale, reach, reach, reach. Crown of the head towards the ceiling. Exhale, pivot the right toes to the right, lower the back heel so that your foot is parallel to the shortage of your mat. Open your arms out to a T. Gaze is at the left middle finger. Warrior two. Lift the inner arches of both feet. Take a peek down at your left toe. If you can't see it, track your left knee over your ankle. Take another peek. Can you see your toe? Keep reaching your fingertips in the opposite direction. Imagine you're squeezing that pencil between your shoulder blades. Send awareness to your right glute. Give it a little squeeze. Tuck that tailbone, send it down long towards the mat. Torso, shoulders over your hips. One more inhale, girl tall. Exhale, left hand reaches forward, forward, forward. Left forearm to left thigh. Inhale, right hand up towards the sky or overhead for your extended side angle. Oblique kick challenge and hover both arms. For a half bind, right hand wraps around the lower back. Fingertips to meet opposite thigh. Stacking shoulders. For a full bind, left hand can come towards the earth or a block, then wrap around the left thigh, hands to meet and clasp. Hug everything in. Challenge your balance and look up towards the ceiling. Inner arches of both feet are lifted. One more inhale, hug everything in no matter where you're at. Exhale, release if you were in a bound. Lift your torso, inhale, flip the front palm and send it up and back for your reversed warrior. Hold here. Same option, right hand can stay bound or slide down the back leg. Gaze up at your right left hand. Inhale to reach, 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 up and back, expanding the left rib cage. Exhale, keep that bend in the front knee. Last inhale, make it count. Exhale, cartwheel down, frame the front foot. Pivot the back heel up and step back into your plank. Take your vinyasa or skip it entirely. Inhale to shift forward, exhale, lower down. Inhale into your baby cobra, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful work. Take a big inhale here to reset. Exhale, let it go. That was your dynamic warrior flow. We'll flow that through one time over, breath to movement. Inhale, reach your right heel up towards the sky. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open up warrior two. Inhale, find length. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, windmill down, frame the front foot and step back into your plank. Inhale to shift forward, exhale, lower down. Inhale into your cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Last side. Inhale, lift your left heel up towards the sky, three legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, rise on up, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, find length. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel down. Pop the back heel up and step back into your plank. Take your vinyasa or skip it entirely. Inhale to shift forward. Exhale, lower down. Inhale into your cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful work. Inhale. 
fill up, open your mouth, exhale, let it go. One more inhale, fill up, press the earth away. Exhale, step the right foot to the outside of the right hand, step the left foot to the outside of the left hand and sit down. Hands to heart center, elbows to the inside of the knees, thumbs at your sternum. Create length between your tailbone and the crown of your head. Yogi squat, malasana. Keep pressing your elbows into your knees. Energetically press your knees into your elbows. Lots of opening, lots of energy. One more inhale. Exhale, release your hands to the earth. Send your hips up towards the sky. Wiggle it out, sway side to side. One more breath. Exhale, release, sit your sit bones back towards the earth. Hands free or with your hands, carefully and gracefully sit on your mat. Find a long spine here, hands to the back of your thighs. Inhale, reach the crown of your head up high. Exhale, round your back, tuck your chin, tuck your toe bone. Push off with your feet and let gravity roll your spine up and down. Rock and roll just a few times. One more. Inhale here, exhale to settle your spine back to the earth. Hug both knees in. Bring your forehead close to your knees. Inhale, squeeze everything in as much as possible. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, release. Let your feet fall to the outside edges of your mat. Your arms rest beside you. Palms can face up or down to ground. Shavasana. The most important pose of your practice. Nothing else to do but breathe. Let your mind sync up and remember and record all the movements. Inhale and exhale. Start to lengthen your inhale. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, roll out your ankles and your wrists, sway your hips, invite movement. Sway your head side to side. Inhale, reach your hands overhead and stretch your fingertips and toes in opposite direction as much as you can. Exhale, roll onto any side, bend your knees and create a little pillow with your bottom bicep to rest your head on. Soften your gaze or close your eyes. Fetal pose. Symbolic of new beginnings. Send yourself gratitude for taking the time to re-energize yourself with this flow. With your eyes closed or a soft gaze, inhale and press yourself up to a seated position at the front of your mat. We'll come to me, cross-legged, long spine, Inhale, reach both hands overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Namaste.